What's going on everybody, it's me Drew and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a, I guess, how to improve the control game mode. I've played it a little bit, uh, quite a bit. I see similarities and differences between that and other games like Call of Duty and Battlefield. So I've played them both and I think there's some good ways to improve it to make it even more enjoyable. So as always, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe if you feel free. So as always, see you when the video starts. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the um, spawn points, or how the spawning works on objectives for th the game mode. Control has, it's like a domination style game mode. This has a large area map, it's similar to Battlefield, it has larger areas with focused objectives. And the spawning works as you can spawn on objectives that are linked to your base. So, your home base spawn point, um was either on the far left or right and if you have a and you also have b you can spawn at a or b but if you capture a you can't spawn there even if you have all other other objectives you just can't spawn there um and if you have let's say c and a you can only spawn at the base that's closest to you and you can't spawn the one over that so i feel like it just needs a change where you can spawn at any objective that you have captured it just flow i think it will make it flow the game well, make the game flow better there we go that's the right wording uh it'll make it flow better and just overall more enjoyable because that way it's you can get off different flanks and you can just rotate around the map better and it just fits well and considering how close to this game mode is to battlefield i think the battlefield style of spawning on objectives would work better and to add on to that i think the spawns should not be in waves. I think they should be timers and not really based on waves because sure the waves have like if you get the correct timing you could go in like you could die then come like right back or you wait longer but I feel like for the people who kill that's also a downside because if you just finished a close fight and they spawn right next to you like they spawn in full health that shouldn't really happen i feel like it should be on a timer like also battlefield and you can still choose where you spawn as i said earlier uh the next thing i would probably want to be changed is the i guess hud interaction because sometimes it's a little slow and laggy like if you um get killed and you just hit B by accident, you'll sit in the screen and you won't really, like, go back, so you have to hit, like, RB a couple times and then hit A to be able to go back to the spawn point. I think the HUD just needs some changings a bit. Uh, let's see here. The weapons... I think the weapons play well. I think there might be too many care package weapons, so I think they should try to limit the amount of care package weapons that come in. Or give them to the losing team. And depending on how badly they're losing, that's how many su uh, supply drop weapons they should get. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything else I can think of? So, at the moment, uh, not really. I think the main priority would be the spawns. So, I guess that's my I guess quick take on it of the spawns i think they should just be able to change like battlefield uh, change a timer so it's not spawn waves i think it the game mode in terms of spawning overall just needs to be more like battlefield because it just plays much better for this type of game mode this map the amount of players so that's just my take on it so i hope you all enjoyed the video and hope this little rant so I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your evening or day, whatever. <laughs>